Johnny Willis case, of all the other cases that he's facing, is the only one that, if in fact Donald Trump is elected, will go forward. You know, Bonnie Willis has the potential to haul the, the president of the United States of America, if Donald Trump is reelected, into court uh, and hold him accountable. I, I think that that is scary for Donald Trump and his allies, and that's why they're attacking her. Yeah, well, there's no question that the, the two state criminal cases uh, in Georgia and Manhattan uh, are ones that, that can't be uh, sort of brushed aside by Donald Trump winning the presidency again because they're state cases, as Michael said, not um, federal cases, and so he, he would not have that power. On the other hand, it is the case that they would likely be stayed pending sort of the four years that Donald Trump is president, but they still would be there at the end of the day. Um, so they, they do have um, that, that bite of, um, but it would probably be a delayed bite. But just to Marcus's point, and I, I know that, that um, it doesn't deal with sort of the political reality, but I do think that the public has to keep two thoughts in its head at the same time, which is the defendant is charged um, uh, with various crimes, and there's that fact, and there's the hearing as to what exactly happened between Fonnie Willis and the lead uh, prosecutor, and whether um, that was improper or not improper, or whether there was an ethics issue, and that's just a very separate issue. And by the blending of them, it reminds me so much of when you do a criminal case, what the defense wants to do is make sure that there's any possible time that the jury is focused on the prosecution table and whether the agents and prosecutors did something wrong and then sort of distract is a good day for the defense, whereas the prosecution wants to keep the trial focused on the evidence, like what exactly happened, what's charged, what are the crimes. And I think that's what's going on here, which is the blending of those two things. And there really are, I agree with Marcus completely, completely distinct issues. In other words, you could think, okay, maybe Fannie Willis had an improper relationship. There'll be a hearing on that. But it still is a very separate, distinct issue from the criminal charges that are, are uh, pending. I just want to clarify something that you said, which is that this case could be paused very quickly. Yep. So um, there is substantial law that um, when somebody is president, that a state case, um, there, you don't want 50 state being able to bring criminal cases and have them going forward while somebody is president. Um, that doesn't mean that they're immune. It doesn't mean that they, they can't um, be charged and they can't be tried after they um, leave office. But the chances of the Manhattan case, if it hasn't um, happened, mm -hmm. or the Georgia case, if it hasn't happened um, by the time uh, that uh, we have a new president, then they would be stayed. If they have gone forward and there's a mm -hmm. conviction, um, then that, uh, Michael's absolutely right. They stick. There's nothing federally that.